welcome to vidish academy and here in this section we are going to discuss an example under the concept determinants so this is our given example and we need to prove the value on the lhs side is equal to the value on the rhs side so first let us consider lhs side and to evaluate the determinant value we need to perform certain operations for second row which is denoted by r2 and the operation would be r2 minus r1 and similarly we are going to make changes for third row which is represented by the notation r3 minus r1 so by performing certain operations the determinant value would be and if row 1 remains the same so we get here 1 a square then a cube and then in the second row as we are making changes we get 1 minus 1 which is 0 and then b square minus a square and then here we get b cube minus a cube and then performing the operations for the third row we get the elements in the form of 1 minus 1 which is 0 then c square minus a square and the last element would be c cube minus a cube so here we obtained this elements by performing the operations for second and third row and now just observe here we can use the formula of a square minus b square and similarly this element is in the form of a cube minus b cube so by using the formulas we can take b minus a as the common factor from the second row and c minus a as the common factor from the third row then the remaining elements would be in the form of 1 a square and a cube and now let us write the remaining elements in the second row which is 0 then the next element would be b plus a and then we get the element b square plus a square plus ab and similarly the elements in the third row are 0 c plus a and the la and the last element is c square plus a square plus ac and remember that here we used the formula of a cube minus b cube and now let us make changes to the second row which is represented by the notation r2 minus r3 so that implies we get the elements as b minus a into c minus a then in the determinant we get 1 a squared and a cube and performing the operation in the second row we get here 0 and then subtracting b plus a and c minus a we get b minus c and similarly here by subtracting the elements we get b square minus c square plus of ab minus ca and the third row remains unchanged and now here this term is in the form of a square minus b square so by using that formula we get here b plus c into b minus c and here from this term you can see that we can take b minus c as the common factor and similarly here also we have b minus c so we can take b minus c as the common factor from the second row so we get b minus a into c minus a into b minus c and the remaining elements would be in the determinant as 1 a square a cube and in the second row we get 0 1 and then here the remaining terms would be a plus b plus c and the last row remains the same and now let us expand the determinant according to column 1 so here we get the terms as b minus a into c minus a into b minus c and according to column 1 we are going to find the determinant so we get 1 into and then by multiplying the terms we get c square plus a square plus ac minus of which is c plus a into a plus b plus c so the next element according to column 1 is 0 then 0 into something is again 0 plus of and similarly here also we get 0 then performing all these operations we get elements as b minus a into c minus a into b minus c c square plus a square plus ac minus of and now let us multiply c with the whole term 
So we get minus AC minus BC minus C square. And then multiplying minus A with whole term, we get minus A square minus AB minus AC. And now let us cancel the terms having the opposite signs. So here these terms get cancelled. And now let us write the remaining terms. So before that, let us change B minus A as A minus B by taking minus as the common factor. And then we get here C minus A. Then here the element would be B minus C. And similarly, let us take minus as common factor from all these terms. So we get minus of AB plus BC plus AC. And then by multiplying, we get minus into minus as plus. So the remaining terms would be A minus B into C minus E into B minus E into AB plus BC plus AC, which can also be written as CA. So this is the value on the RHS side. So this is the process where we use various operations to evaluate determinants. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos, visit our website VDG Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.